Hi, I'm Fiona from Wessex Archaeology North and we're here today to have a little look around see what you can find in your park and garden. Come with me. Right, now we've had a little look around, let's see what kind of things I've found. So, let's start with these. Found some nuts. These are hazelnuts. And you might find some fruit stones. These are plum stones. I didn't actually find these lying around, but they are the kind of thing you'd like to, uh, you might see. So, these kind of things can tell us what people were eating, what things were growing, Maybe if we come across something that isn't grown in this country, it can give us an idea of where it's coming from and the kind of trade routes that the people living at the time had with other areas and countries. Also, I found a piece of wood like this. Now, we don't normally find wood like this unless it's under really specific conditions, but we do find what happens when you burn wood, which is this charcoal. And charcoal can be a sign, is a sign of burning, so it can be a sign of fires or maybe accidents have happened. Quite a common thing for us to find in the soil. You might find if you've had bonfires um, in your back garden or the, there's been little mini bonfires in the park. I also found snail shells. Now it's highly possible you'll find these if you look in your park or garden. These are just common garden snails, but they can tell us uh, weather conditions at the time that a layer of soil was lying because they're very responsive to different temperatures, different humidities and whether it's wet or dry. And along the same lines, you may find, especially if you've been to the beach and you've collected shells and then put them in your garden, you might find little shells like this. I also found similar another animal remain which is a beetle and as with snail shells these tell us conditions of the climate at the time that they live in they're very specific different species and there is a good chance you'll find the outer bit of beetles and then last but not least this is not something I found lying around but I just thought I'd show you this these are beans Celtic beans specifically and the kind of things we might find in archaeology but if you've had a bonfire and you've been burning and your parents have been burning things you might find little remnants of things like this as well so why don't you get out into your park or your garden with you and your parents and see what you can find i can't wait to hear what you do